Hello our viewers, a very good morning. My name is Fiona Kenya. I am a transmission engineer with NTV Uganda. Actually, I am the youngest engineer in the company, and if not in the country, I want to tell you, working in the media has been a journey. Working in a very male-dominated environment has been lessons and lessons to be learned, but all I can say is I've made it and I'm still making it to the top, but I couldn't do it without God. Like I, I'm telling you, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. It's important you trust the Lord. For a young girl outside there, you can make it. You still have the time to be wherever you want to be. It does not matter what people have to say. It does not matter who brings you down. If you trust the Lord and you're sure he's the beginning and the author of your, he's the author and the finisher of your life, he shall surely guide you through. What I can tell you, this woman is there, review your life. Make a new course. Believe what you want to be and he shall surely make it pass because he is God and he's above all things. Happy women is there and let's balance for better. See ya. Hi. Good morning. My name is Prosipatra and I work with Monitor Publications in the radio department, particularly Dembe FM. Um, yes, uh, first of all, I would say Happy Women's Day to everyone out there, to all the women. Thanks very much for all you have done for this country or for this world, because without women, nothing can happen. Um, yeah, probably that's why we are celebrated. Yes, um, I've been in media for quite a time, and I've worked for radio for 10 full years. That's quite long, because almost everyone asks, like, how do you manage to, like, stay long in that same job, and you do the same thing? Oh, I do the H Love Love show, H Love Love Femme, that's what I call it. Um, well, what has kept me it's not because uh, of anything. First, I'll say God. Yes, God. Through God, anything is possible. And through God, you can make it through. But again, my, uh, my uh, uh, consistency in work, if you're consistent, you can make anything. You can go for anything. You can always do anything and you will be successful. Then um, I think um, also, my the belief in myself because when i started it wasn't easy uh, i succeeded someone who was doing this show h love love she was a strong person she was well known she was popular and me getting in her shoes it wasn't easy people were like no we want that person we don't like you you're not even doing it anywhere next to her like how she did it i was kind of frustrated yeah people would talk but yes they would always talk see what they are saying Get what is good. Just throw away the. I've been at uh, NMG, um, Africa Broadcasting Limited, NTV Uganda, for the last nearly five years. Though my journey in the media started a long time ago, I think 1998, when I was an intern at the New Vision. I've been in radio, and now I'm doing television, and I've done print as well. Um, I won't say that mine has been that hard, especially when you look at you know the gender stereotypes that people keep talking about. Because when I was in the New Vision, I didn't notice it. I think I was a bit too young. And then when I went to Sanyo, I became the news editor. And uh, I did not experience anything to do with, you know, it being a male-dominated newsroom or men refusing to do this or um, the, even the whole station was just dominated by men. No. Um, at NTV, um, I know that there are two ladies in the news production, on the news production team. But you know, the numbers keep coming and going, coming and going. I will not say that I have had an uphill journey. One, I think it's very, very, very important to want to be able to know who you are. Know who you are. As a person, not even just as a woman, just know who you are as a person. Because many of us go into workplaces, you know, looking for very different things. Some of you may want to, you know, you don't know what you want. Maybe you just got the job uh, because you had an uncle or something and he got you the job or you had an aunt or someone sitting in an important position. But know who, knowing who you are is very important. Two, it doesn't uh, cost you a thing to be 
confident of yourself, to be well spoken. Some of the things that I really emphasize is one, are you able to maintain eye contact with somebody? Are you able to admit to somebody that you do not know what, you know, the next step into a task that you've been given? Um, three, are you able to be own up and be accountable and be responsible? I think once you know that, but most importantly knowing who you are, who you are and what your mission is and having passion for what you do, then I think you will succeed. Happy Women's Day 2019. I wish you a special Women's Day. I don't know how you're going to wake up in the morning and I don't know what you're doing, going to do, but I want you to balance for better. My name is Carol Bayanga. I'm the managing editor for digital content at Nation Media Group. I've been in this role for about, uh, it'll be 16 years in April, but I've been in the media industry writing stories here and there for about 18 years. And it's been an interesting journey. It's been crazy, it's been challenging, it's been fun, it's been rewarding, it's been difficult, it's been bug breaking. It's been all those things wrapped in one because uh, the career of journalism is by itself um, an interesting but uh, demanding uh, career. But I love what I do. I've been interested in it from the day I said uh, I began to do it. Because journalism is, is a, a career that helps people. It provides information, it provides education, it provides entertainment. So I, I encourage women in the profession to keep on it. It's difficult, it can be difficult, but it's rewarding. It's very rewarding um, because of what we do for our nation, for our communities. So my encouragement is for women to, to, to stick in there, to hang in there, and do the best they can do, because it's running at the end of the day, but also because it's a good place to be. It's a fun place to be. It's a place that keeps you knowledgeable about what's happening around us. And to, to seek help all the time. Uh, never think you can do it by yourself. Never think you know everything. Always seek help. Always listen. So as we celebrate Women's Day, let's remember that we are all equal and we deserve, uh, we deserve equal pay. Happy Women's Day. Women's Day. <laughs> Can you take it again? Happy International Women's Day. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Take Note segment here on Morning at NTV. As usual, I'm your one and only, yours truly, Mala Kivila Odera. And I'm joined by the beautiful queens who make NMG exciting to work in. And they're them that went ahead of me. I mean, I think I'm there. <laughs> and I'm honored to interview them today and to have a, you know, authentic conversations with them this particular morning. And I think I'll start with the beautiful Tindy Musa. Tougher. She is a comedian, not a new face to you all, and she's also the KFM radio presenter. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Next to her, another radio queen, Bina Baby, Dembe FM. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that voice when I grew up. <laughs> Next to me, on this side, I have the Rachels. So, Rachel Muine, beautiful as always. Yeah, and thank yeah. you so much for coming back for my NTV News Anka. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be back home. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And Rachel Mabala. Um, of course, you. she's a photojournalist with Daily Monitor. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So why do we start? Uh, <laughs> radio photojournalism. <laughs> Uh, okay. comedy. Comedy. <laughs> Let me start with comedy. <laughs> Cindy, I want, uh, today I just want us to have uh, you know authentic conversations on the mm. table um, for the viewers, the young ladies on the you know on the, that other end, just to get to tap into our experiences, especially in this media space. Um, many say that when you see women in media, they are this kind of way. Mm. Maybe they have slept their way up. Mm. We need to demystify those notions today. Tindy, what was it for you? You getting into radio? How do you <coughs> did you start? Did you apply? Was the opportunity you know um, advertised in the social media platforms? What was it for you? How did you get in? Um, uh, how I got uh, to radio was actually quite simple. Um, I had been talent uh, talent searched 
Given the fact that I'd been doing comedy for a long time, and I'd also been doing TV, I was actually a, a presenter here on NTV, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> for a comedy show with Fan Factory. Mm -hmm. So um, that is how uh, the people of radio found that I had a unique uh, uniqueness about my voice. Yeah, been a contestant. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I had a uniqueness in my voice, and I had a way that I played around with words and how I played around with, uh, you know, sentences and stuff, which could, uh, which was actually uh, also good for radio, because radio you have to balance from the serious issues to uh, lighter. People have stress. People have lots of issues that's going up uh, their sleeves. They need to, you know, tone down a little bit. So if you can balance the seriousness to the fun bit also on radio, mm -hmm. it works. And I think I had the qualities and I got talent searched and voila! <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. What was it for you being a baby? I mean, you're the queen of radio. Everyone knows you. Yeah, the MFM, I think you, they need to pay you for it. Yeah, because it's Thank brand. <laughs> What was it for you? How did you get into the space? Because many say that yeah, getting in that door is mm. the most important thing. What was it for you? Now, joining NMG or, or radio? Radio. 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 radio? radio. Or radio, I had What's to apply. I had to apply. <laughs> and then when I applied, um, then we were voice tested by Karim Hilge's kids, you know, and they'll tell you, that one sounds nice, that one does not sound nice, so that's how we entered and then afterwards we were trained and uh, was told that according to my voice I can either do a mid-morning show or a night show, a love show, mellow, mm -hmm. but I couldn't do a morning show. Mm -hmm. So it was basically <coughs> that and then from me, from mid-morning to evening then at one time I tried morning show but basically I think it's because of the passion that I have I don't take my job for granted mm -hmm. and so and I always strive to be unique and that's why I've been on radio for the last I think 15 years wow. and even when they bought when NMG bought Dembe I remember one of the I think the managing directors by then walked in and said so this is this is how you look like and I said yes and he said your name is bigger than your y yourself yeah. no uh, so <laughs> you can imagine that like <laughs> <laughs> and he said you had better be an asset but so oh, I'm only hoping I'm still an asset oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 is he still, yeah. is he still a managing director no he he's not okay. he left but you can't be your name can't be bigger than you bigger baby you are big <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm going to play the <laughs> Believe me, I'll be at the end of the interview. Let's move aside. Rachel Mwene. Um, and I'm sure you got this a lot when you're on TV. And yes. people just think it's the pretty face without uh, a brain without in between brain. the ears. How did you get into the TV space? So, before I got into TV space, I actually think I had... I was a lot more confident <laughs> before I got into TV. Because I just walked into NTV and said... I'd like a job. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that now, but <laughs> <laughs> many years ago, <laughs> I, I, Betty Dindi, who is Kenyan, was the manager, news manager here, and I was in radio, and I felt like, you know what, I think it's time for me to sort of do something else, do something different. And I was working with Power FM at the time as a radio presenter and programs director. I came to NTV, asked to see the news manager, and they asked me, do you have an appointment? Mm -hmm. I said, no, but he'll just take five minutes of her time. <laughs> and thankfully, she was in the office. So I walked in, I said, this is who I am. I am doing radio at the moment, but I'm very interested in doing TV. Mm. And she said, well, we don't have any slots at the moment, but let me arrange for you to do a screen test. I did a screen test. I worked with a gentleman who I attribute actually a lot of my journey here mm -hmm. to, and he he sort of pushed when he saw that I, I was actually good at what I was doing eventually when there were slots because I remember at the time uh, Rosemary the late rest in peace mm -hmm. um, left to go and study in the UK and somehow a slot <laughs> opened up and that's how I got it interesting yeah. interesting another Rachel what was it for you photojournalism <laughs> you were with us here during the press review and you're yeah. saying that the space is pretty much male dominated going on the ground to get the stories getting the perfect shot pushing the men 
How was it getting into that space? You mentioned passion, but yes. getting that job, how did you get in? I think there's something about the name Rachel. <laughs> Just as Rachel walked into <laughs> yeah. the, in, the, in TV mm. here, but I walked into Monitor as well. I just walked in and told a lie to the reception and I have an appointment with the <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't know where he or she sat. And so she said, okay, uh, what time? I said, now. Mm. So she says, okay, you go there. So I say, where does he sit? And she said, no, it's a she. Uh, I said, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so she takes me there and the lady walking to the initial uh, uh, marshal. So I told her I want mm. a job. And she's like, nobody has walked into my office yet to ask for a job. job. <laughs> so she found it interesting and strange. And she says, okay, what kind of job do you want to do? I told her, I don't have any papers with me here, but if you need them, I'll bring, I'll them. bring them. So years later, they tell me, hey, you, you know, we're giving you a staff job, but you have no file. Mm. So can you write a letter? And, you know? <laughs> so I asked for a job after I've gotten, I basically applied for a job after I've gotten the job. But wow. I just walked in and told her, I've been doing photography for this long, but I've not tried photojournalism. Can mm. I try that? And she gave me an opportunity. So she told me, oh, let me call up somebody who you can go and meet then, to, right. you know, and introduce her to the others. So I've been there for the last seven years. Yes. Wow. Oh, How are you, Rachel? Yes. Oh, yes. What are you asking? What are you asking? Your papers are not NASA Road. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> learning today on this table is that confidence yes. Yes. is it's important. Yes, right. And I, as we come to a close, unfortunately, we, I think we need to kill the producer after this. <laughs> Why do you give a short time? But we need to tap into that. Tindi, just in a nutshell, I want you to speak directly to the viewer who is watching us today. A girl who thinks, okay, fine, I might have the confidence, but what else do I need to keep me in the game? Mm -hmm. Staying in the game is very important. So camera three is yours. Just speak to them today. Oh, well, uh, it, it, it's not easy. It's really not easy, um, given the fact that um, we all get to a certain stage where things just start <laughs> falling apart. But you just have to be very persevering. You have to be consistent at everything you do. You have to have the passion. And of course, you have to have the, um, you know, the zeal to get to people. It is all about the PPPs. People, passion, uh, perseverance, everything. So, yeah, guys, just continue struggling for whatever, whatever you believe in and everything will work out. Interesting. Yeah. Keep at it. Yeah. Been a baby. Well, all I can say is, um, like I told you, first of all, it's passion. Then, um, then to always strive to be different, like strive not to be the shadow of somebody else, and um, to work hard at it, and then to enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. and to look at a day, a new day, like another privilege for you, and to always pray. Yes, because without, because knowing God, that's where knowledge comes from. Right. And um, what else can I also tell you? Happy Women's Day! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, and and uh, um, what else? What else? What else? Then to always, to always uh, um, believe in yourself. Mm. Basically, that's what I'm to tell you. To always believe in yourself. Salt such and say, what am I passionate about? Don't go for the money because if you go for the money, you'll always be disappointed. Yeah, okay. Go for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, is yours? Come on, two, two. Uh, yeah, things. especially mm. just point out to yeah. you know news. You have to to have a lot of knowledge. Yes. Keeping in the game. Yes. Camera one. Keeping in the game. Um, keep abreast with things that are happening around you. I think reading and uh, striving to be knowledgeable mm. is is um is very important in the news journey, or if you want to be a journalist or a news anchor. And I think just generally in life, being knowledgeable. Mm. Um, but the other thing I wanted to piggy bank on what Bina Baby said is to keep self-reflecting and keep discovering who you are because sometimes your passions change yes. other times they evolve and they're tweaked mm -hmm. um, don't stay stagnant just keep discovering what is it that I like in this moment right now what am I passionate about mm -hmm. and um, strive towards it the, the third thing for me which was very pivotal in my journey is Surround yourself with strong women. Surround yourself with, okay, maybe even the men. Surround yourself with people <laughs> who are as passionate about your growth as you are about yourself. And I had women like that in my corner. Josephine Karunji Kajambo. <laughs> yeah, um, so just surround yourself with people who are passionate about you and about growth. All right, yes. okay. Rachel? 
for me, basically, people have said most of the stuff, but I would encourage maybe the young ladies to just keep chasing your dreams, mm. keep chasing, and keep learning. You can't stop studying, saying, oh, no, I, I think I've now I've reached right. that of arrivalism. Yes, right. the issue mm. of arrivalism, you just keep chasing your dreams and yes. keep learning. No, and then chasing. keep loving people. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! Uh, I don't know, we, uh, Madam Producer. We need this time again. Um, of course, thank you so much for coming through. Tindi Mustafa, KFM comedian as well. Um, Bina Baby, Dembe FM, Rachel Mwine, um, a former NTV news anchor, news anchor yes. and also Rachel Mabala, photojournalist at Daily Monitor. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Go ye for your dreams. You have all it takes: confidence and knowledge. Let's fix some thing in between our ears very important <laughs>